Hello, fans. How are you? Horses! Gonna come inside and have breakfast? Yes, you do. You say that's me first. It's too hot to spray for weeds. <laughs> I sprayed the whole barn area. Just like around the fence lines and around the barn itself and stuff. So I don't have to weed it anymore. It's so hot. Oh my gosh. So it is time to go jump in the pool real quick and then go take a shower. <laughs> oh, that's hot. Okay, so if you're thinking about moving to Florida, everybody's going to tell you this. And I'm just going to reiterate. It's hot. But it's not a bad thing. It's very, very nice first thing in the morning. It's very, very nice last thing in the evening. And if you like the heat, you're good. It's just if you're doing hard work outside, you're gonna end up looking like this and sweaty and gross. As you guys should know from our video yesterday, um, we got a sofa, so now we have an actual living room. I'm going to eventually replace this rug and get something solid, probably, probably burgundy if I can, or something burgundy with like a beige border, you know, the other way. Anyway, and then we're going to replace this eventually. But yeah, we're kind of have a living room now, which is wonderful, and two to prove. <laughs> it's good to feel like things are kind of coming together. It looks a little bit more like a real house starting to yeah we're gonna mount tv up here once matthew brings the new one back and then that fan will move but yes getting closer waiting for the ah it pumped what wonderful time and i was about to complain about having to wait for the rice to cook but it's ready so we have a funny story sort of i think it's funny we'll see um so I was, I don't know what, how it came up. Oh, Matthew said tattoo. And I said, wasn't there a show like in the 70s about like an island where people went to go have their dreams fulfilled? And there's like a little guy on it and his name was Tattoo. And he was, he was like, ah, oh, I don't really remember that show. Did it have that guy from Star Trek in it? And I thought about it for a second and I said, yes. Yes, it did. And then I pulled up a picture and I showed him a picture and he said, oh no, that's not who I was thinking of. Who are you thinking of? I was thinking of Malcolm McDowell. Uh, that one. This guy. Well, it turns out the guy from Fantasy Island is Khan. So I was right. I just wasn't thinking of the same person as him. But I was quite pleased by that because I, I'm not as much of like a Trek or Trekkie person as this guy is, but I'm like the queen of cameos. I recognize people in movies all the time, and he never believes me, and then we look them up and I'm right. So, I'm pretty proud of myself right now. You're a queen. I'm the queen! We're gonna eat sushi now. Haha, <laughs> so I was right as well. I was thinking of Mr. Rourke, that's the character in Fantasy Island for 13 episodes from 1998 to 1999. Totally right, Malcolm McDowell. I knew it. She just showed me some weird photo of the, uh... The other guy. The other the guy. The main guy. You know, the one that's in all of the episodes as opposed to 13 of them. Also, did you say the 90s? I think I said 1999. Oh, so that show is from the 90s. I'm just stupid. What did you think it was from? I said 70s. <laughs> <laughs> Further update. <laughs> she was right that it was the 70s. The one I'm thinking of is the revival of the popular 1970s television series. In the 90s. So wait, does he play the same guy? I assume so. Mr. Rourke and his three assistants run a tropical paradise. Is Tattoo not in guests... it anymore? I'm sure it's a different character. Well, I mean a different actor, but like, yeah. is the character of Tattoo in it? Well, let's see. All cast. Um, Hotel employee, hotel employee, party guy, prisoner, Donna, Louis Smith Look Burton. Tattoo. It's hard to find and search on a phone. Alright. Uh, dinner, 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 Batman! <laughs> so pardon my ignorance, but these are not naturally like this. I assume somebody cuts them into this shape, correct? Sure. What is it? I think it's a coconut. 
<laughs> we don't even like Twinkies, but we want to buy this because you can make your Twinkies in the Minions with edible stickers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Summertime! Summertime! Did I just catch the end? Yeah, you got the end. I took all my songs, but now you gotta check the mail. Gotta check the mail! Gotta catch them all. Gotta catch the mail! Time to work the pony. She was already sweaty. I hosed her off a little bit. <laughs> now we're gonna go ride. So Amanda just had another good ride with Tuesday with me uh, there is the safety net and uh, she did so good both of them they're so smart Amanda's so smart with her horse training and Tuesday's so smart and she's a bucker she is a bucker indeed I wonder if I will ever get out of the habit of looking over here instead of looking right here it's just you know I want to make sure pose and all that stuff and I don't know. I have to look there. I need to look into my fans' eyes and say, Hello, fans. How are you? Hey, Manda. Hey, Manda. Yes? Guess what I'm making? What? Candied strawberries. What did you just say? I don't want one right now. I, I don't want a lot right now, but I'll try one. If I let her try one. <laughs> so I really like the candied strawberries at Epcot during uh, Food and Wine Festival the, in China, Beijing style strawberries. So I decided I want them since I can't get them because it's not food and wine for a couple of weeks. So I'm gonna make them. Step one, skewer the strawberries. Skewered. All right, now it's time for the fun sugary part. Let's see, I'm doing three cups of sugar one and a half cups of water and uh, three eighth cups of corn syrup and a little bit of balsamic vinegar. Yum 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 yum. All right, 
right, and that's what we got. The key to this is to only stir until it dissolves all the sugar here at the beginning. And once it's dissolved, I need to stop stirring for 20 minutes while it comes to a whopping 300 degrees. Now I'm gonna make sure everything's dissolved here. Which I think it is. All right, so I'm gonna put 20 minutes on the clock. Now the reason I'm gonna time it is I have a thermometer, but it only goes up to 220 degrees. Uh, I didn't think to get a candy thermometer at Walmart. Uh, so if you're gonna do this, when you pick up your stuff, check to see if they have a thermometer that goes up to or over 300 degrees. Important, I'm gonna be winging it here. We'll see how this turns out. I'm hoping the 20 minutes and, and looking at the color will you know, help me uh, figure that out. Uh, so this is a pretty simple recipe. I'm doing the Disney recipe. There's a few others out there, but uh, everything is pretty much the same. Um, I'm doing a little bit more corn syrup than the Disney recipe, um, but the same amount of everything else because all the other recipes had that uh, extra bit of corn syrup. So it's basically um, one cup of sugar to a half a cup of water, um, two tablespoons of balsamic vinaigrette, which the Disney recipe is the only one that calls for the vinaigrette, um, probably because of the, you know, Asian style. Uh, they give it some of that zing. Uh, I didn't have any sesame seeds. Do we have sesame seeds, Panda? We should. We have some in a jar right there. Oh yeah, we do. Hmm. But those are really old sesame seeds. I don't know if I want to use those. We should have some new ones. You know, I'm just going to hold off on the sesame seeds for today. Uh, let's just see if this works at a basic level. All right, so one cup of sugar, half a cup of water, two tablespoons of balsamic vinaigrette, and a uh, eighth cup of corn syrup. Um, I have a lot of strawberries and this is supposed to reduce to half. Uh, so I got three cups of sugar going there for my first try. So yeah, so we're gonna let this uh, sit and it says re resist the urge to touch this. Don't stir it because that's what's gonna make it crystallize and we don't want that to happen at all so we're gonna let that be and while that's happening I'm gonna get uh, the rest prepared so all I got to do here is wipe this down there you go just dry that off a little and we'll put some wax or wax paper here so when I do the dipping we can place them on the wax paper and what we're gonna do is put them in the fridge, I mean in the freezer for 15 minutes to kind of let them settle. And then afterwards, we can uh, put them in the refrigerator in nice sealed containers and hopefully they're supposed to store. So I'm really excited. This is my favorite treat at Disney World. So if this is a success at home, um, for what is essentially a uh, 35, 40 minute little thing, it'll be a great little snack, so. Yes, I am quite excited. All right, we are at a little over six minutes, seven minutes in. So the internet says watch for boil, boil overs, and this is why. So all I'm doing to stop this is just lifting it off the stove a little bit. Uh, I could adjust my heat down, but just a quick lift seemed to uh, do it pretty good. Well, my thermometer won't go over 220. It just kind of slows down and hangs there. So we're just going to take uh, the internet's word on it. It's it's getting up to 200 quite fast. I wouldn't be surprised if it's uh, 300 now, but we're going to give it its last five minutes. Um, I'm not quite on medium high. I'm just a little over medium. And what's going to happen is after five minutes, I'm going to take it off and let it sit for two minutes to let it simmer down, reduce, let the foam go away so we can see through that clear little candy coating. And then I'm gonna have at it. During that two minutes, if I see I got a nice deep uh, pool for dipping in, I may double up on some of these strawberries to get it done faster. Um, let's take this off the heat for a second, there we go. 
so uh, we will we'll just have to see uh, where it is in a few minutes. Alright, we're gonna let this sit for two minutes. Look at that off the heat. Oh wow, that just goes clear right away. Alright, I may not give it two minutes, I may just have at it here. Do not touch the edge, it's hot. I'm not saying that from experience, I'm saying that from common sense. Now about two of these strawberries on these skewers is about as close as I'm willing to uh, put my fingers down in here. Well that's it right there. And I still have a ton of liquid left, so I did not need to use all of that. In fact, I probably could have gotten away with uh, one cup. Um, so what I'm going to do is experiment a little with these guys over here and just dribble a little bit more on there. Just really make these the extra candy guys. Because when you get them at Epcot, they like have just mounds of candy all over them. And they just look delicious. So that's what I'm doing with these guys right here. Turn this over. Pour it on. Pour it on. Yeah, whatever. We'll add some over here. Now, others were saying you could even experiment with some of them by maybe wrapping and just, you know, making little things around it. I don't think that's going to work here, so I'll just put this guy back. But uh, I like my extra candy guys. I think they're going to come out pretty good. I even make these for my parents. My dad's definitely not allowed to have any. Excuse me? Ready? Yep, so now we're gonna put a timer of 16 minutes and we're gonna put these guys into my mouth? The freezer. Amanda, freezer. Alright, so I'm gonna leave these in here for 15 minutes and let this harden a little and then we'll take them out. Now, with that said, I have left myself these little guys right here because one recipe says to serve immediately. Now, I don't want to scorch my face, so I'm going to wait a couple of minutes. I'm going to feel so sad to dump all this sugar down the drain. Sugar drain! It's like good sugar. Sugar drain! You know what happened if I just drank all of this sugar? Alright, I'm going to try one. Here we go. Bernie McBurner! liquidy. Yeah, you need to let it solidify. We'll see if the freezer ones come out any better. So it's not quite the hard candy shell I was going for, but I think they're going to be a tasty treat nonetheless. So I'm going to plate these up and we'll keep a few to the side. Mm -hmm. 